Um, I mean, I thought we uh, we played really hard. It was a tough, uh, tough, hard fought game. But yeah, I was pleased with our guys' effort. Was probably the biggest thing. Coach Dillon here. Uh, it, Spring Mills certainly the the toughest defense that you've had to go up against so far this season. Uh, what adjustments did you have to make? Uh, for that game, whether it be going into it, knowing, you know, looking at the film or in the middle of that game uh, to try to get things going on offense? I mean, they, defensively, uh, they presented some problems just with the pressure. And they've got some really good players. So uh, I just felt like we needed to, you know, try to establish some things up front, try to try to make sure we're putting pads on people and, and try to put Koi in. And, and our other guys in, in, in a position where they could make some plays, but uh, you know they they had a they have a good team. They defensively it was a hard fought game, so uh, uh, I thought it was um, you know a big night for us uh, on both sides of the ball. Coach Walker, Colin here. My question kind of piggybacks off of what Dylan just asked and gets a little bit more specific on that offensive side of the ball for you guys. It was. Uh, pretty much all night long, run, run, run. Was that the game plan all the way through? Was it just because of that uh, pressure that you talked about um, from Spring Mills defense? And with the run game, what were you pleased with? What do you feel like are uh, some things you guys could have still done better at, even though it was all around a fantastic night on the ground? Well, I mean, we go into every game with the idea that, you know, we're going to kind of take what they give us. Um, but uh, we felt like we had some success running the ball there. And then once the game got down the stretch where we felt like we needed to run the clock and then, uh, you know, we just didn't feel like we were in sync uh, in our passing game. So we kind of just kept it on the ground. And coach, uh, one of the big runs in the game came from Brian Dick, uh, your backup quarterback and backup running back. Um <laughs> Just what has he provided to the team this year? It seems like every time he's had an opportunity to play in, in either role, he's he's excelled. Yeah, I mean, Brian's a really good player and uh, has he's done a great job for us all year. Uh, you know, it, it gives us a little bit of a spark, which I felt like he did um, the other night. Uh, so, you know, we, we probably, I think, you know, we've used him at times earlier, sometimes later, but uh, I thought he came in and provided the spark that we needed and uh, – uh, it gave us you know, a set of fresh legs. Coach, it, it's been – it felt like to me at least that uh, running the ball with your quarterback, Coy Fagan, has been kind of the – you could say call it the get-out-of-jail-free get card, if you will. It's kind of like your go-to thing. When you're in a jam, you can put the ball in Coy's hands and he'll pick up some yards for you. ends up with 29 carries uh, against Spring Mills. And so what does that mean to you, to you guys that just ha may have a player like him that, like I said, if you get into a jam, we could say, OK, well, at least we have Coy. We can handle the ball. You know, even if it's in a passing situation, we can trust a guy like that to make a play for us when it counts. Well, I mean, we've always, uh, you know, we had the same thing with Murphy and, uh, you know, we've had we've had guys in the past that uh, that were excellent runners. So uh, it, when anytime you got to quarterback that can run the ball, it just adds a different dimension to your offense. So uh, we probably ran him more than we, you know, looking back that we normally, you know, obviously more than we normally do, but uh, probably more than we wanted to. But, um, we, you know, we were, able to, we were able to do some things and um, he provided that for us to give us, kind of give us an extra guy to, to use. So, uh, yeah, you know, we, we probably, looking back, um, probably uh, would like to not run him as much, but uh, when it gets down to the, the end of the game, you got to do what you got to do to you know, secure the victory. Coach, a uh, difference in games like this that it feels to me like will go under the radar all the time is special teams. Talked a little bit about it just amongst us during the show yesterday, but wanted to get uh, your thoughts as well because you guys – and. It, is a huge difference because you not only have one kicker, it seems like, in Sam Collins, but you have two with Cody Page as well, very experienced, and both of them very good weapons, which you don't typically see at the high school level sometimes, or maybe even most of the time, teams don't 
have kickers. Uh, just tell us a little bit about how much those guys really add to your team and the weapons uh, that they are. Uh, yeah, I mean, they, they do a, both of those guys do a great job. You know, Sam really has had a live leg as of late. Uh, he's really been uh, – you know, throwing the ball or um, I'm sorry, kicking the ball well and, uh, and and doing some really good things for us. So uh, and Cody comes in and and does some things as well. So uh, you know, anytime you have it's like you're you're blessed to have one. So we're very fortunate to have two. And coach, your defense ends up holding Spring Mills to just 12 points in that game. Uh, so what did you see from your defense? What do you think was some of the keys to your success? Mm-hmm. I thought we've uh, I thought we played physical and and we've we've played like that all year so uh, you know we were able to try to eliminate uh, big plays of course they they're, they're they're very talented so they did have some plays obviously they're going to but uh, I thought we did a good job of uh, in the in the red zone and and I thought we rallied to the ball pretty well we made some mistakes uh, on both sides of the ball looking back at the film I, you know we, there's a lot of things I can point out a lot of mistakes we made but uh, our defense. Uh, obviously bailed us out and uh, won the game for us. And you mentioned not giving up big plays. Obviously, very early in the game, Spring Mills able to get that big touchdown pass from Max Anderson to Xavier Anderson. But then for the rest of the game, you only get uh, one more score up on the board. How did you guys, you know, how did you see your team respond after that opening touchdown from Spring Mills to you know, not waver in the face of the adversity like that and come back and you know, still hold them for the rest of the game? Well, we talk about facing adversity all the time. And, uh, you know, and we knew going in that we were going to be, uh, you know, put in a situation where, you know, we were going to be down or we were going to give up some plays. I mean, it, it's, it's just part of football. So, you know, we always preach about, you know, how you react to adversity is, is – to determine, you know, obviously it's going to determine the outcome. So I thought we handled it well. And uh, anytime you can you can win a close game, I think it really builds character and, and really defines you as a team. So, uh, yeah, I was just uh, glad that those guys were able to, to come out and, and hang on and play, you know, play four quarters against a really good team. And, uh, uh, you know, I thought we, I thought we handled it well. Coach, before we get to just talking about, I guess, what you guys are doing this week with the bye, I want to get your uh, thoughts or comments on the atmosphere there. It was a very large, lively crowd that I believe has been estimated to be over 7,000, maybe even close to 8,000 people in attendance for that game Friday night. Yeah, it was a great atmosphere for a high school football game. Um, I thought our, you know, both teams, you know, played hard and, uh, I think everybody got their money's worth, uh, and I thought it was um, you know, it was a really good high school football game. And you're, it could have went either way. I mean, we were just uh, fortunate that you know we were able to come out on top. And coach, this week the bye week, uh, what are some of the goals or, or things you want to get done this week? Well, I mean, we always use the bye week as a time to kind of you know refocus because we normally have it at, you know, after we've played our tenth game. So now we've still got a game, uh, one more regular season game. So we'll we started preparation for Hurricane, our opponent next week, and uh, we'll we'll practice this week like we normally do in, in preparation for our next game. All right, coach. The fun question of the week that we've been asking all the coaches is. What was your favorite Halloween costume that you've ever worn? And if you're dressing up this year, what are you dressing up as this year? Well, I'm not dressing up this year. <laughs> but, uh, you know, when I was growing up, we didn't, I, I didn't have a lot of uh, money to go out and get costumes. So I think I was one of those guys that took an old bed sheet and cut, uh, cut the holes out for eyes so I could see. So I went as a ghost. So that, <laughs> that probably was uh, the most popular one for me to wear. Hopefully you didn't get any rocks like Charlie Brown did. <laughs> there may have been one or two rocks. So, thank you for the time, Coach, and talk All to right. you again next week. All right, appreciate you guys.